with no concept of resale. You know, like like the houses that I've, I've owned a few properties over the years. And whenever I buy it, the first thing I think is like, okay, well, when I eventually sell it, hopefully I'm in a, I want to make sure I can get my money back out of it. You know, I don't want to do anything too crazy because it'll affect the resale value, whatever else. Boosie did not give a shit about resale <laughs> on any level. Like he has a 26,000 square foot house. And then in the back, he's got like four other houses. And then he's got a damn tree house. He's got a wishing well and two basketball fields, uh, two basketball courts, uh, a, a drive-in movie theater. Like, imagine trying to find a buyer for this in Atlanta, like, you know, <laughs> in the, outskirts, the outskirts of Atlanta, nowhere near a major city. Like, to be honest, like, you know, what I mean, it's like he's really like in the outskirts. Imagine trying to find a buyer for this and trying to get your money back out. It it would be almost impossible. But that's what what was the the beauty of it was that it's not about the resale value. It was like, yo, I'm going to build a house that I want, that I really want to live in. I want to put a bowling alley in it and a little freak room that I'll live there. And he named the streets after his kids and his dead homies. You know what I'm saying? And, and there was a tree house where his artists could stay at. And it was like, yo, like he built this strictly for himself and nobody else. And, you know, and for his family, for future generations. And it's just so interesting to see someone go all in with their own ideas, you know, and their own and their own passions without having one foot in, one foot out. It's like, no, jumping in with both feet into into uh, what he believes in, I think is amazing. And I think so, I mean, the first clip got a million views and the full interview just got a million views. So I think that people are really just like, they're flabbergasted to see this. And I think that a lot of people are gonna be like, yo, I'm, I'm going to do it like Boosie one day. I'm going to, I'm going to get some land and I'm going to slowly. And he was even saying in the first clip, he was like, yo, you know, I, when I got out of prison, I didn't have a lot of money. So I just bought the land and then, okay, boom, I designed the house. Then, you know, every week, 20,000 here, 30,000 here, 40,000 here, 20,000, you know, slowly chipped away at it, paying for everything with cash because he had already lost his house when he went to prison. When he had a mortgage, he, he, he figured out his mistakes. And it was like, yo, anyone could sort of, take a piece of land and slowly build it up as the money comes in. And, I, and it's like, especially down South. And it was like, you know, I think a lot of people are just going to rethink shit and be like, yo, I, I, I want to do this one day. And, and now I have something to work for. This is going to get me, I'm going to go back to college. I'm going to go, 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 go harder at my job. I'm going to go harder at my business. I'm going to learn how to invest. I'm going to, I'm going to cut down my, 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 uh, you know, my bills because I want something like this one day for myself and for my family. Yeah, I mean, um, I watched, I watched, um, you know, the Boosie Estates clips and then the full episode, and I was inspired. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, like, like <laughs> me myself, I'm looking at this guy walking. I mean, what is it on? Eighty-eight acres or some craziness like? Eighty-eight acres. Yeah. Exactly like, like, really let that sit in to anybody watching this right now. 88 acres of land. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, Vlad, I appreciate your time, brother. Just keep keep doing what you're doing for the culture. Your, your interviews, um, you know, people can say what they want about it, but we tune in because you give the most realist, in-depth, uh, hard hitting questions that that we want to know. Thank you. So 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 keep up the great work, man. I, 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 I think, think the you know you know you do black TV news as well. You know what I mean? Like you and I work together on on the, the questions and the topics, and you you execute flawlessly. You know. Yeah. So now I, I I appreciate the opportunity, and like I said, I mean um, I enjoy it. I enjoy the platform, so you know, keep up the great work, man, and uh, and I can't wait to see where the platform goes. But I think it's going in the right direction, so keep it up. Thank you, man. All the best. Peace. Likewise, brother. Be good.